All right, so the example that is printed here on the workbook is on the key of C, and it shows two different positions of how to do it. Let's actually start with the second one, with the one that starts in root position. So if we're in the key of C, of course, the chords, chord one is C, chord five is G, chord six is A minor, chord four is F. If you start the progression on C in root position, but let's play C in root position. Then the note in common between one and five, as you really know by now, is the G. So when you play the G chord, you would play it in first inversion. Then for the sixth chord, what we would do is just bring all the notes up by one step for A minor and play A minor in first inversion. Then the fourth chord, we would play in second inversion since the A minor and the F chord have the outer notes in common, right? So let's play that one more time, and we're going to count two, two beats per chord. Ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to play this again using that first performance technique that we talked about before, the chunk. The chunk means that you play the, all of the chords repeated. And we're going to give it four, four beats for each one. In the left hand, I'm going to play just the roots of the chord. And I'm going to put the left hand in F position, because if the left hand is in F position, uh, my hand won't need to move to play the roots of all these chords. Ready, and one, two. techniques. So here's how broken chord goes. You play the top two notes of the chord and then the bottom notes and you just kind of go back and forth. So let's do that really slow. Ready? And one and printed example there on that page. So if we start the C in second inversion, so here's C in, in root position. Second inversion, I'll have the fifth on the bottom. So I'm going to take this fifth and put it down here. So here's C in second inversion, G in root position, A minor in root position, and F in first inversion. Let's chunk it. One, two, three, four.
Does it make sense? 